What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Standard Saturday. Uh, unless you guys are watching this on Twitch Live, which is Friday. Today we're going to look at this deck that my friend Billy uh, was actually playing. He made a f he went 5-0 with this in a league. So we're going to see if we have similar luck. Uh, deck is super sweet. I was watching him play at a local store recently. And uh, he was like, hey, I went 5-0 with that deck. And I was like, really? And we made some changes to it. But like, like he even made some more changes to it, which is pretty sweet. So we have uh, Jade Light Ranger, Frasca's Contempt, Scarab God, Ravenous Chupacabra, Gaunti, Hostage Taker. Like some of the best creatures in the format. Also, lots of great targets for Scarab God, Hostage Taker. Like this is all removal, right? Three Hostage, three Vraska, two Chupacabra. Even Gaunti is kind of removal because you're just blocking and killing. Um, you know, all of these guys are great at fixing your mana and, and filtering your draws. And they also put creatures in the graveyard for you to get back with Journey to Nowhere. And then you have a card like, you know, Jade Light Ranger or Champion that any of these creatures, you really don't mind reanimating or not re not even reanimating, but just like using to flip Journey to Eternity, you know, because they come back once you do that. Um, And then you have the sideboard, which is pretty standard, a bunch of artifact stuff. This guy's great for like flyers or putting counters on things or just having a, a big body. You got a Veraska, you got some more enchantment slash artifact removal some life gain and moment of craving and arborback stomper yanny's expertise another chupacabra some control magic stuff like that deck looks pretty sweet i'm excited to try it out so uh down here there's four swamps for anyone uh who was interested but you're probably going to see that in the actual uh league screen as well so we're gonna go st standard i always do friendly just because the, the, the payout's better and uh we're just testing out decks so So play a league match and we'll just show you the deck here just so you can jot it down for your own personal. That is the full deck in case you guys are interested and we will hit play. What is a gate? Oh, Azor's Gateway and Torment of Hellfire. Yeah, that's Azor's Gateway is like the second most expensive card in the set right now, which is really weird. That is, I went to go buy some yesterday because the deck I was looking at needed three. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll spend a dollar on this card. That's cool. And now it's like seven tickets. And I'm just like, why? It's kind of ridiculous. I am not comfortable by it. Buy it? With it? I'm not comfortable with it. I will join the match. Like you do. All right, let's do it. Well, I actually don't hate this hand. Wilds, Wilds, Sanctum? Sure. And we can actually... Uh, we'll get a green and a black here, I guess. It's good for... We'll get a black first in case we draw Fatal Push, then we can just kill something. But we're probably going to play against some mono red nonsense here. That's, that's okay. We'll get a... I'm just going to get it now. And then we can go Branch Walker maybe first. We can go Branch Walker Botanical Sanctum. Well, that's awkward. That is what's known as a whiff, my friend. A whifferino. But you can take a gander at my Merfolk Aetherborn Rogue Construct hand. Excuse me. Oh, that was a great draw. That was the greatest draw that I've ever drawn in my magic life. That's not true, but it's possible. Why is it... Look at this. My revealed cards are all these. Why are they on my side and not your side? I didn't reveal them. That was a that was an okay draw. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It does help us play Noxious Gear Hulk. It doesn't really do anything against the uh, with the Gontis, unfortunately. If we draw another two drop, I might just play uh, two drop, get a second black, and then right into Gonti on turn four.
see now we're actually just going to keep it because we can actually play dude on turn four so it gives us something to do I will attack you for two though and I'm sure you'll block there you go there you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have six. We want to hit one card, I guess. Ideally, a black land that comes into play on tap, like a Drawn Catacomb or a Swamp itself. I'm sure you're going to kill this with the ability on the stack, just in case. What does Gaunti do? What doesn't Gaunti do? Um... Yes, put that card on top. And we'll just put it on top. We'll just draw it again. It seems fine. Because next time we can go second Jade Light Ranger into Evolving Wilds. Yeah, Gonti is insane. It blocks every creature in the format with Death Touch. Uh, it also... Like, the, you, the fact that you just get to... It, it basically lets you draw a card. Unless... Oh, unless Daddy Cube, unless you were actually not sure what he did. I wasn't sure if you were actually questioning how good he was or actually weren't sure what he did as a creature. Like, So my bad. I might have just misunderstood. Oh, another one? I'll just keep both. <laughs> oh, and we hit a land. Wait, what? Wait, what? Was the f oh the first one was a forest okay I got it I got it okay our hand is pretty stacked right now six cards to five cards and we also have another dude on board and they didn't kill it this time which is interesting which means they probably have a chupacabra in hand no a carry zev. Hey, carry Zev. You guys familiar with that jam? We're gonna we're gonna do the thing. Next turn we can hostage take her the carry Zev and then cast it. That's pretty cool. Oh I see. You're gonna be this person. Just going to trade here. That's still a one for one. Daddy Cube, you're going to see Gonti in action right now. Are you ready? I want you to be ready. Yeah, this is fine. It's actually not even a one for one because we drew a forest off of it. So, okay. Gonti, I think, was really underrated when he first came out. No one was no one was really excited about him. And then I, was, I, I, I personally put him in some decks, like some Salty decks and stuff. And I was like, this card's really good. And he, he caught on after a while, but, you know, not, not because of me or anything, but, like, he just caught on because people were just like, this card's very good. Wow. I think it's just Lightning Strike, and we can... Think of your end step if you attack with a creature, real top card, and put that card in your hand. That seems pretty good. Next time we can Journey to Eternity and play Ruin Raider. Do we need more removal against this deck? I think we just want the card advantage. Like, our hand is Noxious Gear Hulk Hostage Taker, and we already have Gonti to block, so. Also, we want to be careful not to uh, play double Gonti at the same time, because there's this whole uh, legendary rule thing, so. You know. I'll block your monkey. Block the monkey. Don't you know you've got to block the monkey? I'm trying to make myself... I'm trying to prevent myself from laughing at this ridiculous Peter Gabriel parody I'm doing here. Don't you know you've got to block the monkey? Mm 
So I can just attack with Gonti, Hostage Taker, Carry Zev. That seems good. How'd you guys not have any response to my to my block the monkey? Oh, what if they kill it in response? That's pretty good. Oh, the game just ends. I guess that's what happens when they kill it if they well, I guess they didn't kill it in response, so that's... Alright, so we're going to bring in Arborbok. Dude, is he putting the lime in the coconut to respond to blocking the monkey? That's fair. Alright. It was perfect. It would have ruined the moment saying anything. Appreciate it. Preach. Alright, we're going to bring in a bunch of sweepers and things for this deck. Moment of Craving seems real good. Take out one Scarab God. We'll take out one Tetsu, Tetsu Makazuma. Seems pretty rough. And bring in big spids. I have no idea what the Obelisk Spiders are for. I don't know why you put them in there. I think there's just one force for three that gain you some life. And they're really good at blocking. Like, they just seem like great blockers. Oh, you cut a you cut a branch walker or two, huh? Oh, without making any don't ever make a suggestion to cut something without actually telling me what I'm bringing in against them. Or or vice versa. Like don't don't say bring this in without also suggesting what to cut. Why is Brontodon good here just cuz the big idiot? Man, these evolving wilds, these two evolving wilds like to be in my hand. I love his big body. Okay, that's fair. I <laughs> All right. Well, not going to argue with that, buddy. gonna crack immediately wow don't tell him I can't. Woo. It's getting it's getting it's getting volatile up in this chat ah like Bronto Donson I cannot lie all the brothers say you can't deny when a dinosaur walks in with a big body and a Destroys your enchantment, you get you know how it goes. You know how the you know how the brought it on song goes. What'd you reveal? Oh, the old Riggin runner. I'm tempted to just kill this guy now, and then we can uh Yeah, we're gonna kill this guy now, because then the Riggin runner doesn't get to come into play as a two two. And we can just crack this for I think it's it's better to crack it for a green, hundred percent. I'd rather play Jade Light on three. Uh, then Gonti on four, especially because Hostage Shaker is still an option if we draw any land. <laughs> oh. Do I just kill everything? I feel like I just kill this carry Zeb too. I just don't feel like dealing with it. And next time we can Ranger and hit some lands, maybe. Well, I think we're 100% to hit some lands. 100%. 100% to hit those lands. Hit them. Burt, dirt, 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 dirt. Don't you know you've got to shock the monkey? Are 
are you are you actually getting something here is the question I mean, we still got removal on deck, dude. This deck has infinite removal. Ruin Raider, huh? Okay. Attack next turn with this guy. I'm tempted to just kill this now, too. Well, that's awkward. I think we're I think we're really eager to hit lands here. Don't have a shock. Wow. Amazing. You're good at this game. One, out of, you had a, you, we have one in two chance of having a shock. Uh, graveyard and graveyard, because I need lands. So they attack with four runner. They get to play both a ring runner and ruin raider, and then we just want to hit golden demise, I guess, <laughs> which would be a blowout. But we're not going to be able to play it because we don't have a land. So that's unfortunate. I don't even know what happened here. Everything is. Everything's feeling bad. And rigging runner. All right, so you have one card in hand. Two cards. Okay. Basically one. Oh, we hit a land, but it is not. It's not a great one. Tempted to play hostage taker. Any removal though, and this guy just gets eaten. Let's, let's shock the monkey instead. Don't you know you've got to shock the monkey? All these goblins look like monkeys too, so. This is like a monkey theme deck. All right, so we need to have a dragon skull summon. Okay, well. Do, 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 do. Wow, this is a lot of ruin rigging ruin runner raiders. All right, you have one card in hand. Golden buys? Not terrible. Interesting. I think we're just playing hostage taker here. Let's just take one of these cuties, I guess. If we hit a land, we don't actually have to hit a land. We can play spider and the cutie next turn if we want to, so. We just have to hope you don't hit like Glorybringer or something. I don't know if you have that in your deck. Uh, this is game two, Doomfall. Sure. Oh, you didn't play it. Oh, that's good. It doesn't get a counter, so that's pretty fine. We still go to eight. Unfortunate. Foreigner does let us do that, but I don't like having to spend three mana on that. So this guy's not coming in. We'll take two. We'll gain one. If they, don't, if they don't have a way to kill our spider. And now we have Gonti on board. And maybe we can hit a shock and kill and shock the monkey. Presuming these are monkeys, which they kind of are. Oh, well, we're definitely blocking the forerunner here.
go to six, gain one, go to seven. Oh, that is actually not correct. Sorry about the deck list, man. Deck list is not accurate. I'm usually I'm usually pretty good about that. Do you kill spider? Sure. All right. We're recovering at least. How dare you, Willie G? How dare you? You're not even my prez anymore. Do you remember back in the day when you used to be my prez? Those were the days. These are the days. Oh, life will surely change. All right, we're just going to draw something good. That's pretty good. I think it's still Gonti here, but... Give me like a one... Oh, a Dire Fleet Neckbeard. Uh, wow, nothing good here. All right. Can't play a land, right? <laughs> nope. All right, so we'll just take Ruin Raider, I guess. So we block... I think we're dead here, right? They have three dudes. They play the guy. We go to six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're dead. All right. Wow, that was unfortunate. Journey to Eternity seems really slow here. Let's bring in a yeah, Henny's expertise. Take out a journey. Bring in the Chupacabra. Take out the other journey. I don't know what you're saying. Raider can kill us. You just took the guy. Oh my god. You're right. You're totally right. I took the guy. You're totally right. I'm a... Wow, that was so stupid, dude. I literally forgot that I was looking at the... Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I cannot believe I did that. How many people just screamed at the scream? Screamed at the screen in utter agony. Yeah, I literally, I, I was like, oh, maybe it's in his hand. Like, he has this card. Like, so my mindset is like, you have this card. So... I want to play Seekers, Squire, and uh, hope that we hit... Well, anything we hit here is good. I want a 2-3 to be able to block, but I also want to land. Uh, you can go in the graveyard, actually, because you're 5 mana, my friend. <laughs> oh... Uh, I'm just going to block here. I assume you're just going to play double... You're going to shock this guy and then play a 2-2 two -two first striker, right? It's still a 2 for 1. That was a good draw. Calendar on your wall has been ticking. Put you on the top. So we both have four cards. I have a four three, and you have a two two. It's okay, Frank. It's like Spider Man says, everybody gets one. That's fair. That's fair. All right, you get my Vraska's contempt. I kill this guy with a moment of craving. That's on the top. I get my Vraska's contempt back. And then we got a game. Oh, no shock. Good to know. No shock. Dismiss all of these. Why do you show up in the stupid revealed area? The calendar's on your wall. 
No, we don't get to do both because this comes in play tapped. I might just play Jade Light Ranger number two, actually, which I think is better. That's just such a better use of mana. And what are we hitting here? Hostage Taker? Okay. Okay. Double 4 3 for 3 mana? Seems good. So next time we can play both of these or Hostage Taker? I think this game's over. How how bold of me to make that claim that the game is over. That is unbelievable to me. Um, sure. Branch Walker is what you took. That's interesting. Okay. The old Branch Walker scoop. A classic. All right. Seems good. The calendar's on your wall. This is a song I'm singing by The The. Which is the weirdest name ever. It's called This Is The Day. It was also on the Empire Records soundtrack, in case you guys didn't know. I don't think it was a misclick. I think they just didn't have a way to deal with double four three and a hostage taker on the top, so. Oof. Mulligan. Okay. What up, Antares? I will keep. Put you on the bottom. Man, I don't own any VHS tapes because I feel like you have to be a hoarder to own VHS tapes at this point. Uh, I always think Sultai is a legit color combination, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. What is Jade Light Ranger going for in real life, I wonder? I know on Magic Online it's dropped to like four tickets, so I'm wondering how much it's going for on... Like, Jade Light Ranger on Magic Online is... Yeah, about four. Real life, it's like 11? Good lord. Really? Another another wilds, huh? We're just going to play Marsh Marsh because this is always going to come into play tapped where these guys don't, so... Fifteen Canadian, that's utterly ridiculous. This guy has haste too. Why don't all your guys have haste, man? I don't think it will be five in a week. I think it's just a very solid creature. It's either a four, three for three mana that lets you filter your draws or it draws you two cards. Like, it's very good. Calendar on your wall. That's a good deal. I'll just take two guys off the board. I'll two for one, yeah. Oh, I see. A big idiot. Land untapped. Okay. Land untapped. I guess we're just chupacabbering next turn. Doesn't matter anyway, because we have this guy. So we're just going to get a grrr black. Probably a black. A Gur black. So now I assume you play another on crop crash or you attack with both. I go to seven. I go to six. You make this guy able to block with one of them, which leaves you with one more next turn to do a thing with. Soul Scar Mage. Okay, not on crop crasher. Deal. Okay. 
across the deep blue sky. I don't even feel comfortable attacking here. At least the at least the power stone. That's true. I guess I guess it's not strictly attached to Golden Demise, so that's good. Here comes the triple lightning strike. No. Shock. Deal. And other on crop crasher. Sure. They always have the second one, don't they? Never actually played a deck where they didn't have two. I'm at a healthy four life, though, so that's good. Calendar. Let's see how dead we are. Go land Hazaret. Sure. Literally gave them their creature back. That uh, we actually should have just played Branch Walker, I guess, and cycled. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. All right, you come in. You come in. You two come in. You come in. You come in. You come in. You come in. Check out the Champion of Wits. They're a little slow. Gonti's not great. Take out a Scarab. Take out you. Eh, we can take out both of those. I like the Branch Walkers here. Thrashing Bront Brontodon does seem reasonable. Um, Yeah, this does not seem like a matchup where we want to be dirtling with champions. Playing a 2-2 for 3 just doesn't seem ideal in this matchup. Hostage Taker actually does seem rough. I think it's too late to switch, though, so we will play first. And, of course, draw a Hostage Taker. This feels like a bad matchup. I'm going to keep this hand. Any lands and we're in good shape. Like, this is just fine. That was a good draw. So, any green. Hmm, that was also good. How lucky. A uh, graveyard. We want, we want to hit a, four la a fourth land desperately here, so... Here we go. Or at 22 if you want to exert this guy. It's totally fine. Land? That's actually not terrible. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, I like Hostage Taker in this list just because it deals with Hazaret. Like, you can steal a Hazaret. But other than that, like, it's a little suspect, I think. And we also have Raska's Contempt. So we have a, quite a few ways to deal with Hazaret, but still not the best card to be playing against. Speak of the Devil. Welp.
Uh, I wish I had another land. This hand is like great with the land. We can just ravenous to recover a hostage taker. Right now we're stuck at the mercy of fatal push here. But if they kill either of our guys, we can push this on crop crasher off of a off of a cliff three hundred style. Yep, there he is. It's your boy. This is nice because they're gonna kill one of our guys, and we can just fatal push this dude into a into a canyon. We're having a good time. So they go land, dragon, puts them to two cards. They can go land, dragon, one drop, attack us for nine with double Glorbringers out. Or just discard. Yeah, that's better. Five, six, sure. Yep. All right. Well, that was a... Uh, fun match i had a good time and uh i'm questioning why people are playing the mono red deck in the friendly queues no. but what do i know Yeah, I hope he exerts. Yeah, thank goodness. He exerted so I can kill his one guy. Meanwhile, they played three more. <laughs> like, I don't know. I play the friendly queue because I like testing out different decks and uh, seeing how they perform. But Dan, have a good night, buddy. This hand's pretty solid. Double branch walker and fatal pushes. Oh, uh, yeah, man, I get it. You don't think if a deck can't be red, it's good. I don't know if this deck can be red. I've played two matches so far. My friend Billy went 5 0 in the league, so I have no idea. I, I could also, like, it doesn't have to be good. Who cares? Play the deck. If you have fun, you have fun. Smug face, thank you so much. Six months in a row. I really appreciate it. I just don't, I don't subscribe to like the mentality that like, oh, if a deck's not good, well, why play it? Like, well, who cares? Just play it. Have fun. I've played tons of not good decks in my, in my time. That's the whole point of, of everything. I think that's the point of everything. Really. That's what I'm getting at here. Uh, graveyard. Right, I wanted to see if the deck is good, and I don't think one matchup against Mono... Like, literally one, one match against Mono Red is indicative of that. I have no idea. So, that, I don't I don't feel like we're at a place where we can actually determine. That list is not correct, guys, just to be clear. Yeah, we're 100% Jade Light Rangering here. Uh, you can go in the graveyard, yo. So can you. Well, I mean, unfortunately, I, 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 it's unfortunate that you feel like you're on the wrong stream, but, um, I don't know, like, I 
Put you in the graveyard. All these cards are just going in the graveyard. Well, I appreciate you saying so. Thanks a lot, man. I feel like we're doing fine. We'll keep this Blooming Marsh in case we want to discard it to champion. Well, I'll just take a million here. Guess we'll see what happens. I am not playing Constrictor. Yep, figured. Marsh. Yeah, the deck is not correct, guys. For those who keep checking the deck list, still not correct. I feel like I brought this on myself. So I like that they kind of have to... They kind of have to kill one of these guys, right? Or else they go to one life. Which gives us free Scarab God. Yep, that seems fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to see if I can update this list for you guys. Cycle that sensor. Did we not flip our one, two, three, four, five, six? Did they just not have enough? They only have six at the time. Let's take out Chupacabras. Git V, thank you so much, man. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, Negates can come in. Varaska can come in. Golden Demise can leave. Fatal Pushes are also probably not great. Brontodon's a good dude. I think Essence Scatter is probably better than some of the other things we could be playing. Vraska's Contempt's fine. Everything else seems good. I mean, you know, theoretically. Like, none of these other cards are going to be better against the Control deck, so. Export. Mm. All right, let me see if I can... We'll export this bad boy so I can... Move it over here. And we'll just submit. All right, the deck list has been updated for you guys. Super curious. We'll keep. Just going to insta get a swamp here sensor you got it Uh, I don't know if there are going to be episodes of Fresh Reboot. I kind of, I've kind of just taken a step back from Magic a little bit. I'm, I've mostly just been doing stream stuff. Not to say it will never exist again, but I'm not sure. Oh, are you going to censor it again? Oh, you just let it resolve because you have censor in hand. That's cool. Good to know. Oh, look, there it is. You know Zombie Jonathan who likes turtles? He, is he talking about, like, tortoises, or is he be talking about Ninja Turtles? The question would be... <laughs> I don't know. All I know is he likes turtles. That's all you can really know about Jonathan. He's a complicated man. He's probably an adult by now. Uh, it wasn't scatter because they untapped and cycled a sensor. So 
yeah, I don't care about this. You can have that guy. I mean, it might have been Scatter. Like, it might have also had Scatter in hand, but they definitely tried to censor and then realized that I had one free. Give me an untapped land. I'll play Journey and keep up Negate. He was talking about actual turtles. Man. This I will counter. Dang it. Sure. Wow, infinite lands. Okay. okay. That guy was literally a draw two, and then they discarded a consign for it, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do if I take a step. I mean, I've already started taking a step back from Magic. Like, I think I started like two or three months ago. It's been a while. Like, I'm just, like, trying to... I'm just trying to play... I'm just trying to stream some stuff. Have some fun. What are we doing here? I like turtles. They have three cards. They can't... You got it. If only one of these came into play untapped. That's the world I want to live in. The podcast is... Don't don't tell people the podcast was canceled. We just haven't made any new episodes in a while. Um, Let's go Jade Light Ranger. We're definitely keeping this... Uh, Scarab God... Till we absolutely can't anymore. How am I supposed to cheer for you at the PT for taking? That's fair. I appreciate that. You can come to my house and just cheer for me here. Here comes Torrential Gear Hulk, your favorite and mine. I have one card in hand. I'm down with that. Again, if we had one land that came into play untapped, we could get. Uh, We could actually play Hostage Taker this turn, but. Yeah, if you want a PPTQ, I'll definitely go to the RPTQ with you. That would be gas. They have one card. That's great. That's less great. So I have no cards now, so I can just Hostage Taker that guy with, like, impunity? Or I can play Scarab God? Or I can just play Champion of Wits? Oh, man. This seems good. I'm going to do this, Jobby. Dang it, Jobby. I would love to draw four cards. I will discard two Cardarinos. Let's get rid of a Sanctum and Evolving Wilds. We'll play a Fetid Pools because lands are pretty important. So you have one card, I have five. And even if we discard with uh, Consign, we're just going to discard Champion Land. No blocks. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Billy! One, two, three, four, five... And we just, oh my god, we totally tapped incorrectly. I'm actually terrible at this game. No, I'm not. I'm just going to steal both your guys. 
I'm great at this game. That was my plan all along. <laughs> we're going to keep this in hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're going to keep this in hand because we don't want to discard anything good with uh, consigned to dream here. Consigned to oblivion, rather. Oh my god, you can use any color. I'm actually terrible at this game. I how many how many puns can I make in a single? I don't play enough standard clearly, so that's the problem here. Does we wipe the board? Oh, did you just did you just mill yourself? What is happening right now? Oh, you milled yourself to fatal push. That's pretty good. Yep. That's pretty good. That was amazing. My god. One, two, three, four, five. How about this guy? To be fair, this is the third match I've ever played with this deck, and I've only played like probably 10 matches of standard at this point in my life so and not in my life but in this in this standard season anyway so we can get their gear hulk we can get anything we can get anything that you desire what happens here i wonder you just hostage take your gear hulk no i mean yes but also no but also, yes. Sure. Discard Scarab God. No, don't discard Scarab God. Discard these guys. So you have one mana up, so you're basically dead. You have nothing, nothing to do. Pretty sure you're dead here. Uh, bottom, bottom, top. All right, that'll do. Y'all want to see a dead body? Don't play blue? What does that mean? I'll keep this hand. I'm reluctant, but... Billy, did you not know this was your deck? Yeah, you totally got an invitation. Willie G, come on over. Let's hang out. I'm down. Willie G, I got a spot for you right here, buddy. You head over, we'll hang out. What's it going to be? Gonti? I got to put you in the graveyard. I already have one of you. And I don't have any black mana whatsoever. I'm going to start picking up to head out. Just text me if you want to join us at 5. All their burgers come as... Yeah, I knew that. I knew that, actually. Also, uh, that doesn't sound terrible, but I don't know how I'm going to finish three matches before then. So, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's sad. I have nothing to do. So, I will get a Swamp Arena. And I will pass my turn. Yeah, Billy, there are way too many tap lands in this deck. I like the deck a lot, though. But there are a lot of tap lands in it. Did you try? I'm not a vegetarian. I just don't eat a lot of meat. 
I will eat chicken. I'll eat turkey, but I don't eat red meat and I don't eat pork. So. Um, do I want just double Jade Light Ranger? That seems, it doesn't seem terrible. But I do want to play Gaunty next turn, so... You know, like you do. So you got one creature in the graveyard? That's pretty good against the uh, God Pharaoh's Gift deck. Also, no white mana. I don't even know if this... This has to be God Pharaoh's Gift because you have Minister Inquiries, so... Oh, just going to exile my Jade Light Ranger. I gotcha. Yeah, I like that. Add two more Drowned Catacombs and one land that is not... Help them come into play tapped. Seems good. Um, yeah, we'll just take the card we can use. One, still two creatures, three creatures in the graveyard. Still not great, but we have a Scarab God. We can start eating their guys. Oh, Vizier of the Many. That's pretty good. Yeah, you got my Braska's Contempt, I guess. Call me Bill Rick Chapalakis. I don't know. I don't know who that is. What's going on right now? Oh, that's your... Oh, I like that. That's your... That's your Patrick... That's, a, that's nice. I like that. I like your Patrick Chapin... Uh, Mash up there. Uh, no attacks here. I don't want you to block with this guy. Then you have one, two, three, four. Still only four, though. But then you get the loot, too. So they only have two cards in hand. I feel like we're in okay shape here. I feel less okay now. I don't know why I forgot about that, but I did. I guess we have Chupacabra. We just kill that. And it's non-token. Yeah, that's actually fine. I don't care about it as much as that. That's I, 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 Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Um... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not going back to your hand. So now they actually have one less dude in their graveyard. They only have two guys in their graveyard, and that's pretty good. Yeah. That's sad. One, two, three, four. If we draw an untapped land, though, we're in real good shape. We could just get Kite Sail Freebooter, Kite Sail Freebooter. That seems good. Cringy. I guess as long as you don't have two creatures in hand that you're just going to throw away. Even if you do, that's only two creatures. That's only five creatures. Four creatures. Okay, so now there's only three creatures in your graveyard. You still need three more to trigger this dude. I'm okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm just going to keep eating your guys. God, Scarab God's a stupid magic card, dude. We got Fatal Push? Okay. Why don't you kill it in response? Um, I actually don't want this because it doesn't... We can't do anything with it. I'll just put you on the bottom. I want to land. Billy, one time I land. Yes, we did it! I'm just going to keep exiling your dudes because they're there now. And the more exiling I do, the less creatures you have in your thing. So, Plus they float. You have no cards in hand. You're like in top deck mode. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. 
Next turn, we're going to keep our mana up, though, because we want to be able to block with the Champion of Wits. Yeah, you do you. What did you exile? Two dudes? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> Okie dokie. Well, I guess we are in... Uh... I mean, if we can draw Fatal Push to kill the Kite Sail Freebooter, or if we can draw... Interesting. I think we can take that. Is that the Mike Robles? Get out of here. Well, that was a good draw. I'm impressed with that draw. That was probably the thing we wanted more than anything. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's Frank the Lepore. That's, that's exactly what the T stands for. I don't even know why you'd think otherwise. Thopter Tribal, huh? Well, that's a thing. I think. I actually have no idea if that's a thing or not. I like they have Gate to the Afterlife, but only like one creature in their graveyard. That's pretty good. No cards in their hand. So they have to block with Kite Sail Freebooter. Sure. Revealing Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Ooh. Yes, please. What do we get to do? Scry th three here? Bottom, bottom. I don't care about any of these cards. Give me something good. Okay. Man, thank goodness for these flying kite sail freebooters that our opponent gave us. Well, you know what they say, Mike. I get knocked down, but then I get up again. Never going to keep me down. There you go. Do your, do your little looting. Chart a course. You're at three. So I can just pass here and you're dead on board. Piss in the night. I try. I try to look sophisticated. It's not always easy, but I do what I can. You got it. That is not going to do it, my friend. Oh, Archfiend of Ifner. One, two, three, four, five. You're one shy. I don't even know what happens if you get... Like, I, do I even care? I don't even know what to do here. What do you have? You have one, two, three, four, five creatures. You have to hit two. Hmm.
Does it even matter? I guess we can actually rip two dudes out of their graveyard. They have nothing going on here, right? So we rip two dudes out, they go to three. They have to hit three dudes exactly. Yeah, all right. Easy enough. All right. That was a uh, easy choice. We're going to bring in Brontodon for show. Negate for show. Um, everything else seems real good. Take out the Tetsamok. I keep boarding out Tetsamok. You can't actually act exile a dude in response to gifts because it doesn't target. That's not how gifts works, unfortunately. Gifts just says choose a creature, so if you exile a creature, they'll choose a different one and put that into play. I like Vraska here because she does actually kill things. Yeah, I don't know why it actually says choose. Like, I always, I, I was like, ooh, I can just exile the guy you, you, take, you take, but, like, then they just choose a different dude, and it's super frustrating. You're like, why why isn't this legendary? Why is it choose and not target? None of it makes any sense. Um, I got my two more cuts. Probably fatal pushes, right? They're not that great. I think Scarab God is MVP in this matchup because you're able to exile their graveyard guys. Hostage Taker is also not bad because you can exile their tokens. I think the, I think both of those are very good. I'd probably rather cut a Chupacabra than it. This can also take their God Pharaoh's gift, so I don't think it's ever Hostage Taker. Oof. Billy, come on, dude. Come on, dude. You'll always be my MVP in every matchup. Wow. Wow. I'll take it. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got lands in it. Whatever, dude. But, Billy, put some untapped lands in this friggin' deck. Doesn't this deck have, like, eight basics or nine basics or something ridiculous? Let's see if there's one here. <gasps> I'll take it. So we want a second green. We all have two blacks. Yeah, this is just going to be a forest here. Now I have Chumbawamba stuck in my head. Thanks a lot to Mike Robles. Uh, put you in the graveyard. I want more lands, please. Pissing the night away. Are you going to be in untapped land? No? Okay. I do say that like it's a bad thing. Because, like, what other song does Chumbawamba even have other than this, like, Pissing the Night Away song? It's turn three and they haven't done anything yet? This is very weird. Okay, Fatal Push, sure. Interesting. This is not the course you want to take for a God Ferris gift. I'm sure if you drink whiskey drink, a vodka drink, a lager drink, and a cider drink, you can manage to forget the song in your head. <laughs> yeah, sounds legit. Can't argue with you. You're going to counter this? What is even happening right now? Is this the same deck? They have three cards in hand. We have two counter spells and two removal spells. I'm down. Is this going to be a Scarab God? Just, an, just a Windmill Slam Scarab God? No. Okay.
You sing some songs that remind him of the good times. You sing some songs that remind him of the best times. Dead Eye Tracker? This is all very strange. They have one card in hand? Oh, Danny boy. I feel like we just actually play champion and then kill the tracker. What can they do? They don't have enough creatures. I don't know what's going on here. I want to hit a land, though. We hit a land. That's pretty good. Hmm. I think we get rid of Essence Scatter and one Contempt. We're fatal pushing this guy. Right into the trash can. I wonder if I care about the forest, to be quite honest. I do. I definitely do. All right, we'll get rid of one Contempt, and we'll get rid of Essence Scatter. Because next time we're going to Jade Light Ranger, we'll just keep up Negate. And if they have like something like Scarab God, we can still Contempt it. Wasn't that special? Oh wow. Oh boy, that's pretty good. Hostage taker on hostage taker action. Yeah, use this ability, sure. Uh get rid of a branch walker and probably ranger here. Like, the lands are really relevant because we do have Champion of Wits and we also want to cast Hostage Taker. So next time we can cast Hostage Taker and keep up Negate, which is pretty good. And I just don't, like, these guys are just dirtles. Like, they just, they're good, but they're not doing much for us. God, stop drawing things. Don't be another Hostage Taker. You gotta be kidding me. Billy, if this land came in to play tap, buddy, <laughs> we'd have a whole different game right now. So if we exile this guy, they get back their... That's pretty good. I don't know who, who owns this anymore, right? So this was mine, and I took yours. So if I take this, you get yours back? This is all very confusing. Oh, I can still cast it! Oh my god! What in the earth? This is amazing. This is amazing. Magic the Gathering is a hell of a thing. I'm going to steal my own hostage taker. This is incredible. Wow. They confiscation coup, but I can still cast it. What? Because it's still in my exiled zone. That's working as intended, yeah. You just think it isn't because it's underneath the card, right? So you associate it with the card. But I have a card in my exile zone that I can cast uh, as long as it's exiled, right?
And they have one card, and we have Vraska's content or uh, negate up, which is pretty good. I think this match is over. You sing some songs that remind them of the good times. You sing some songs that remind them of the best times. Yep, that's pretty good. Wow, Hostage Taker is a hell of a thing. Billy, the only match we lost so far was to Mono Red, which wasn't really close. I wonder if this deck is a thing. No, because just because they control the hostage taker doesn't mean it switched from my exile zone to their exile zone. Billy, how have you felt about the journey in your experience? Because the journey was, I've been boarding it out every game because it's just too dirtily. I think I, I wouldn't mind a one of, but I feel like two is just like, I'm never, it's not something I want to do in the early game. It's something I want to do later. It's like Mike's mother as a thing. Wow, that's fantastic. I want to keep this hand based on two, two solid three drops. Any one black source and we're good to go. I mean, anyone, any source, and we have two two things to play, so. Oh, wow, we're good at this game. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, where were you last turn, you stupid nerd? Wow. Come on, let's do it. Oh, two lands? Good lord. I was hoping for a bigger guy, but when you just draw two, like, if it's just a divination on a two-one, like, this is literally a three-mana mole drifter. Oh, I see. Isn't that special? I'm going to attack. Maybe not. You just block. I don't know what's going on here. These are a lot of untapped lands. You are right. That's too good to put in the graveyard, unfortunately. You've got to pray. Pray. You've got to pray just to put a counter on that thing today. You know how it goes. You know the song. You've heard it. So next time we can go land, put a pray counter on the Thopter, play Ravenous Chupacabra if you play something else and kill that. Hmm. I will block with my 2-3. Interesting. So...
I'm tempted to just push the other one just to get rid of them both. But then I wasted that prey counter, but I guess it doesn't. Does it really matter? No, I don't care. Four cards to six cards, but our board is better. I'm sorry, what? Oh my god. Why did I, like... Oh god, I need to get more than four hours of sleep a night. I thought Revolt was, like, us doing, um... You know what, I'm not even going to explain it. His guy died. I figured revolt was triggered. That's where that's where my head was at. Yeah, I literally, I literally thought it was morbid for a second. I'll put you in the graveyard. I really don't need a third one of you, so. Let's see how many of these guys survive. I guess two. A braid. Fatal push. He's going to be like, this is how you fatal push, buddy. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Yeah, my problem with ha like having Plague Wind in hand and not and and use not using it is that we don't really necessarily have uh we don't have six mana. I have no idea when I'm getting my six mana, so I'd rather take care of guys now than just hope I draw all the mana. Can we draw? One land that comes in play, play untapped, Billy. I'll take four here. I guess I guess you're forcing that. All right, land, Billy, Billy, come on, buddy. This guy. This is where the essence scatter this, and we're just really, really boned. Come on, one time with the land, the untapped land arena. Neither of these are untapped land arenas, but we'll manage. We can. Chump lock here, which is nice. The chump lock's so nice, we get to do it once. That doesn't make any sense. You remember that time I fatal pushed their guy, but I, I didn't actually... Yeah, just keep doing stuff. Don't do stuff. All right, cool. I fatal pushed their guy, but it didn't kill it because I don't know how revolt works. Those were good times. Those are times that remind me of the best times. Mm, Danny boy. So they didn't play anything because... We have Tetsamok, I imagine, but is that even true? I mean, I have to assume they just have a counter spell here. Yeah, because why wouldn't you? Sure.
Well, that's unfortunate. Sure. Oh, Mogluck, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Um, yeah, you're fine. I don't think I play this land here, but... I will block your Virtuoso. Oh, another one. I see. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop out. I, this guy's way too good. I just don't feel like dealing with that dude. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Bring in this guy. Tetsamok seems pretty rough. Essence Scatter seems good. Fatal Push seems meh. Demise seems meh. Chupacabra seems pretty okay, maybe. Negate seems good. Like, I'd almost rather just have Negate in the main deck than, than Journey. Yeah, we only have one Tetsamok, and I'm not a big fan of it, to be quite honest. I think it's too clunky. What do I take out for, like, one spider just to have one of? Seems fine. This hand seems good. Spider's been fine. I actually, um, not a, not a problem with it. Yeah, we did bring it in during mono red and we traded a guy for it, but the problem was that they just had too much other stuff going on. If we hit a land here, it's going to be good because we can... Then we'll have a bunch of stuff to... Oh, put you on top. I will keep my Scarab God. Like you do. I like one search in this deck a lot. I don't know why we don't have a search in here. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So black, black. We have everything right here. So we're going to keep Botanical Sanctum and Swamp. We're going to get rid of Forest. Actually, why do we even want the Botanical Sanctum? Yeah, I don't really want this coming to play tap. We'll get rid of you and you. And that gives us all the mana we want. Next time we can put a Journey on the Seeker Squire, which might be better than Champion. I just don't like having to discard. I don't actually like looting that much. Especially when you have good cards in your hand, because then it's just hard decisions. One four archer that fights doesn't seem better than than the than the spider, just because the spider actually kills two twos. So like if they block with their guy, you deal one damage to it, then you put a counter on it, and you're like, kill your guy.
Surge having no hits when it flips actually might be relevant. That's a good point. How does it have no hits though? You have Fatal Push, you have Veraska's Contempt, you have... Uh, it'll hit the Journey. You have Golden Demise. You have... You can put like Vraska in the main deck. I like Vraska in the main deck a lot. I also want it on here because it, it like I want them to have a greater incentive to ex incentive to exile the Seeker Squire and not the champion because I want want to get the champion back. And block here. Sure. I guess we're just hoping that they don't have Raska's Contempt, which they probably do. Pushing our own guy just sounds mean, but, you know, sometimes you got to do it, I guess. Sure. <laughs> to show me the way. The thing is, if they actually counter Scarab God, we can just get it back with Journey, which is pretty nice. So I think we just Scarab God here. And I hope you don't Essence Scatter. Oh, it's resolved. Interesting. Game Trader, have a good night, buddy. Have a good afternoon. Have a good work day. Champion and Glimmer in the Graveyard. Or I guess just Glimmer in the Graveyard. Here comes Vraska's Contempt. Yep, because they never don't have it. I guess, I guess we also never don't have it. So we could push this and then resurrect something, which seems pretty good. Let's see if we can put something good in the graveyard. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm just gonna take two here and then X and then hostage taker EOT. I mean, even if they kill it, like I don't care because I'll get it back. Sure. We can also untap and play Champion of Wits, which is pretty good. Hmm. 
Just kill my... Sure. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, activate. I guess we could hostage take her again. Just gonna keep taking Siphoner. And then we can just pass here. One, two, three. Actually, they have five lands. We can attack. They're not gonna be activating Champion of Wits anytime soon. Sure. And they already have one in the graveyard, so it's not really. Here comes Glory Seeker. Nope, Scarab God. Sure. I'm going to Hostage Taker here because I feel like that's better, especially with uh, the land on board. Actually, we might as well leave that up, right? That does anything. Uh, keep you on top. Seems good. I feel like one thing you really want to do with this deck is make sure you can engineer a situation where you can get the that, get the journey to flip. Once it flips and it's a land, you're just like, okay, this is pretty good. Torrential Gearhulk getting, what, a Braid? Vraska's Contempt? Sure. That's good. And we have another Vraska's Contempt. I wouldn't cast a Siphoner because I think I actually forgot. Got the old black here? Yeah, black and black. How many Scarab Gods are getting exiled this game? A lot. This has nothing under it now. Yeah, so we can just Alpha here. Seems good. Like, we're just at a point where, like, we don't care if you eat our guys because... Kill a Siphoner? Sure. That's a, That's a two for one. We get the Champion of Wits here, which is pretty good. But then we get to Vraska. We ass I assume you're going to attack. We Vraska, kill your ch Champion of Wits. Put you to three. Yep. I like this list a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. God, I wish I had one more land here, dude. <laughs> oh, we will have one more land, actually. That's perfect. This is great. Do 
we just get rid of which guy do we get rid of? That's the question. I don't think there's any reason to get rid of the Gear Hulk because they can potentially get it back. Just get rid of this guy. And now we get to keep up Essence Scatter, which is pretty nice. I'm just gonna pass. I don't. I want them to have two removal spells for our hostage for our like to save our Bra Braska. I almost called her Braska. Bill Braska. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's pretty good. That's your, what, third Vraska's Contempt? And cool. All right, good to know. <sighs> yep. Like you do. Well, we at least have Champion in the graveyard, which is pretty good. One, two, three, four. So if we hit a land... That comes into play tapped, which is pretty much impossible because of how Billy engineered this. We get to keep up Counterspell. Oh, we did we did hit a land. All right, so we're going to get rid of Evolving Wilds and Sanctum. Play Catacombs, keep up Essence Scatter, and uh, we're just going to grind you out for the rest of your life. Is this game three? This is game three, right? I can't even tell. I think I'm drunk. We're not blocking. You're at nine. You do have another champion of wits. So do we, though. So many wits. You can't even essence scatter a champion. That's sad. Dream Stealer. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just going to Essence Scatter this guy. Oh, Dream Stealer. But I believe you can get me to another. Sure. I right, have one card in hand. That's pretty good. Well, that's not great. What do we do? Contempt and Jade Light Ranger, maybe? I guess we can bring something back, but we only have Seeker Squires. That's kind of sad. I'm really afraid of this Champion of Wits, and I'm wondering where my Scarab Gods are. David, why do you keep saying taker? I don't even understand what you're saying. You just keep saying the word taker. I don't understand. There's no taker in any graveyards. I don't know what you're saying. I'm pretty sure you're drunk right now. Five, six, seven. We have one up. I'm pretty sure it's champion here. And then they're going to champion, which... Which means they should tap out. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have one up. Yes. Okay. Um, let's get rid of you and one ranger, and we'll just play Branch Walker, too. Here comes Essence Scatter. Last card in hand. Give me something good. Scarab got on top. It was a forest. But we're not drawing it next turn, I guess. So that's the thing. I do like having this Vraska's Contempt in hand because I'm afraid of things like Scarab God. They only have eight mana, though. 
So they have to have land Scarab God for it to be scary. <laughs> Hashtag taker. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gotta be just it's gotta be just champion here, right? Yeah. Four, five, six. I'm actually just going to take this and put you to, like, none. Because we can exile the champion. Oh my god, these lands, dude. One, two, three, four, five... Put you a three. We can play double Jade Light Ranger here, right? That seems pretty powerful. If I reanimate the Jade Light in the art, I only get to play one. I'd rather just play two. That seems better, right? Sure. Um, I think we just want Gonti on the top. And then we get a 4-3. How does removal glory kill me? Isn't that only nine? That doesn't seem like ten, right? I mean, we also haven't seen a single glory bringer, so I have no idea. I mean, I'm not going to play it safe when we're at ten and we, and we can put them to three. Like, if they want to attack here for five, like I'll just take five and see what happens. Because I doubt you have five damage and burn. Like, I don't think you have shock, lightning strike in hand, and four cards. So I have, to, I, have, I have to assume one card is a land. But you didn't do anything, so. Let's Gaunti and see what happens. Because we also have uh, a way to return Gaunti to play, so. What is this even? Okay, that's pretty good. You don't have a counter spell though. Intriguing. Faraska's contempt. Okay. Sure. Card is very strong. Let's put it that way. Can we get a torrential gear hook off the top? Oh, Vraska's contempt of our own. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have two left over. One, two. Harness Lightning doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're just going to take the Contempt here for obvious reasons. Do we keep this in hand? I don't think so. What do we need this in hand for? Like nothing? I can't imagine taking Siphoner there when they have double Torrential Gear Hulk.
Whirler would have been fun, but we make one one one. Like, it's not like we have a source of energy in the deck. Like, we just make a one one. Sure. Glimmer is great. A little restrictive though, because you. I I have a feeling they'd have an answer for a one one. I I don't think they're really. Sure. Okay, two cards in hand. Billy? Come on, buddy. I guess we just attack here. They just take two. Oh, they just chump lock. Intriguing. I remember when I had Scarab Gods in my deck. Those were the days, my friends. I have no reason to keep this land in hand. Like, I'm just going to bluff a land. It just makes sense. I'd rather just have the land in play because if we draw Scarab God, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then any land is like double activation on the same. Yeah, we're definitely Jade Light Rangering here, but. Hashtag Taker. Put your dreams in the jade light. Here comes the Scarab God, because our opponent draws infinitely better than we do. Surprise. Yeah, that's pretty insane. That's going to be hard to beat. Oh, two, literal two lands off the top. Mother of God. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, not including this, so eighteen lands have come out of our deck so far. Take a Seeker Squire? Sure. Whatever that does. Pretty sure we're out of Raska's Contempts as well. There's two here. I think we have one left. Based on what we have in the deck, I'm pretty sure we want to uh, do this during upkeep. Graveyard, you just don't do anything. Neither do you. Well, you might do something, I guess. Huh. Not terrible, but not great. That's where we're at right now. I don't want this in your graveyard. I guess we can put this in our graveyard. You have four blockers and you're at five? Oh my god, we're so close here, dude. What's up, PTB Connor? What's going on? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't even know what to do here. You can't attack, so we actually have three attackers. We could definitely kill. We just kill our own guy, right? Otherwise, you're just making like Dream Steel. Like you, there's so many options you have. Scarab God. Once you one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love killing the Torrential Gear Hulk because then they go Scarab God, Torrential Gear Hulk for a braid, a braid the ravenous Chupacabra, get the Chupacabra back, so. Yep. Scarab God is a ridiculous magic card. I would not be surprised if you made a guy right now. Uh, I don't know what you'd make. Probably Dream Stealer, or or Siphoner. Actually, probably Virtuoso, right? Oh, you're just getting back my Jade Light Ranger. Sure. Because of course you are. <laughs> K 
Keep a braid on top. Tap two, a braid. Have exactly enough mana to get the Chupacabra. You got it. Well, I guess sometimes what happens when you draw 19 lands. I have no idea why you didn't also abrade braid and then bring this guy back during upkeep. Pretty sure we're dead here. I don't think there's actually anything we can do. What is even happening? How are you not being more aggressive here? I have one card in hand. I guess it's all instant anyway, so you just do enter my turn or end of my turn. Come on, dude. A braid. A braid this guy. Bring him back so you have four blockers. Kill, like, this guy. So then I have three attackers to your four blockers. Yep, we're going to... We're going to call it a day, guys. All right. Either way, we can open this treasure chest now, I bet. I think that's still pretty good. So we'll open a treasure chest and then we'll... Uh... Oh, a sigil of distinction, a raging raptor... Ranging? Ra ra ranging raptors and a grizzly survivor. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you... Uh next time and uh appreciate the uh the support if you guys haven't done so please feel free to like and subscribe on youtube it really helps me out a ton and uh have a great evening night afternoon or morning i guess